Hello friends, this is Dogya from IT University. We are in the middle of uh, Apache Spark using Scala and uh, we started with getting started with Spark using Scala and we have covered um, all the important topics that uh, that needs to be revised around uh, uh, um, around Spark so that you can build Spark based applications using Scala. It includes revision of Scala, it includes file system overview, it includes YARN, it, it includes uh, how to uh, launch Spark in different execution modes, etc. Now we we want we want to get into uh, the inf uh, get into the details about how to build Spark based applications using APIs, parameters, um, um, and um, uh, many more. How to read files, how to write files, uh, etc. So, um, if you want to proceed further, um, you should have either access to the lab or you should set up Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hotmox Sandbox, or at the least you should you should set up uh, uh, Spark on your PC. If you haven't done that and if you directly come here, I will highly recommend you to go with getting started with Spark and first set up the environment and then only proceed further. And here are the high level building blocks. We need to understand what are uh, different parameter files and uh, how we uh, uh, and what are the properties. And then we will see Spark configuration and Spark context uh, uh, which are uh, required to submit our applications either programmatically um, or whenever we launch Spark shell they will be created implicitly. And then we will see how to read files, uh, read data from files and uh, write data back to files. We will also get into the details about resilient distributed data sets which is very very important concept. And then uh, we will also get into core API which is transformations and actions. Okay. And uh, in, in this uh, lesson we will only see overview about uh, transformations and actions. There is a separate lesson you can see it here for transformations and actions and there I will try to explain e each of the uh, the important transformation and action with example and then we will start developing the applications ok. That being said um, let us proceed further and uh, let us get started with uh, individual topics of this lesson. Thank you. Bye.